All right, what we're going to do today is we are going to show you that sometimes when you put your Bondo or your filler on your vehicle, especially in cold weather, what happens is it sags. Now, I've replaced this bottom section here, and I have to put Dynaglass in that to uh, start molding it out. And when you use Dynaglass, and I'm going to show you what we're talking about here. When you add a large amount, like I'm going to do, because what I'll do is I'll take my cheese grater and I'll form it out. But what happens is it starts to sag on you and fall off when you're doing it in a position of an up and down situation and it's not a flat surface. So what we're going to do is apply our Dynaglass and you can see it's already sagging, starting to sag over here. And what we're using the Dynaglass for, we're using it for a filler Bondo. This is a filler. This is not our final coat. This is only to fill in where we welded it. And I have to put a lot in right here. And you can see it's starting to sag on us. And I'm going to show you a real quick, easy tip on how to fix the situation and this is just a real quick video nothing fancy because like I said what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my um, cheese grater to mold everything because this here was a very very technical situation doing this let me get the rest of this on here and then, like I said, I'll mold it with my cheese grater when I'm done. So, um, when you get all your Dynaglass on the vehicle, and you can see it's sagging right there. Look how that's sagging on us. Alright, there's a big spot that we got to fill in right in here. Okay, and it's sagging. So, once you get everything on, what you want to do to stop the sagging, let me go ahead and clean this mess up. Very, very simple and easy. What we're going to do is we are going to take our two inch tape, just like this, and then we are literally going to put tape on it very lightly just like you see me doing right on the bottom of that just to hold it in place and what that's going to do that's going to keep our Bondo or should I say in this case Dynaglass from sagging on us and make it a non-usable surface that we need like that. Another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tape and what I'm doing here, this line, this contour is actually beveled. So I'm going to go ahead and take my tape and lightly push on that. And what that'll do, that'll leave an imprint of where I want to make my bevel to make sure it's all straight. Okay, this has been sitting approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Um, it's 60 degrees outside, or maybe a little less, 50 degrees. But you can see what happens here, that the filler won't stick to the tape. Um, now, I will tell you this, I did not stick it on there very tightly. All I did was use a bridge, you might say. I made a bridge out of the tape so it wouldn't sag and it would stay in place. And then we'll go ahead and go one step further. The next thing I'm going to do to uh, form all this metal is I'm going to use uh, a couple different variances of cheese graters and you can purchase these at your local big box uh, hardware slash lumber store. Don't want to mention names. Don't like to fucking advertise but sometimes you got to. In this case we don't. Um, 
So I'm gonna take my cheese grater, and then now, you can see, I can go ahead and form my Bondo, or in this case, Dynaglass. I can form it the way I want using my cheese graters as a tool. Now, I will say one thing that if you plan on using the cheese grater, you have to catch it just at the right time. If you catch it when it's too soft, what will happen is it will pull off. It will pull off of the metal. If you catch it too late, of course, it doesn't work. Uh, then you got to rely on grinders and sanders to remove it. But as you can see, our tape held up. We used our tape as a tool. That's very important. Always remember, auto body tape is not just for taping a car and paint. It's also a tool around your shop that you can use to save you time, expense, and money. Um, I hope you like this little short video, and I hope that it helps you out in the future. My dining glass is getting hard, as you can see. And I'm trying to be as quick as possible with this. Here's another cheese grater. Let's see if we can get this one down. Here we go. Okay. Looks like I'm going to have to go to the grinder. So I'm going to have to let you go. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. Showing you how to do stuff. And hopefully you're learning over here at DIY Auto School and YouTube channel SWRNC, my friend Pete and uh, making your job easier for you watching me make the mistakes and you learning from them. watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.